This morning, the State Department confirms that U.S. officials met secretly with representatives of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi for the first time, delivering a clear face-to-face -face message that the longtime dictator must step down. Gaddafi's troops are still fighting rebel forces who are still getting help from NATO airstrikes. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett takes a first-hand look at the fighting from high above. The best way to see how the war in Libya is going is from 30,000 feet up. Flaps are up and are accelerating. Major General Stephen Schmidt is the hands-on commander of NATO's AWACS fleet. On the outside, an AWACS is a radar dish with wings. Inside, it's a sophisticated command center from where a team of specialists control the battlefield below. We provide the air picture and air traffic control surveillance and that intensity is still there. And it is an intense fight. So far, NATO planes have flown 15,000 sorties and unleashed 5,600 airstrikes on ground forces in Libya. But what started off as a mission to stop Muammar Gaddafi killing his own people has become more of a manhunt. The easy targets are running out fast, and for the European members of NATO, so is the cash to pay for more weapons. That means there'll be more pressure on the U.S. to take up the slack. We're the big boy on the block, you know. We bring the best equipment, we bring the best training, we, we, we bring the best force to bear. Uh, others, uh, you know, are operating, but uh, they're operating on a short leash. American servicemen made up more than half of the multinational crew on board this flight. What's it like to be part of this mission? It's good to know that we're doing the right things for the right people. So overall, it's a rewarding job. Especially on nights like this, when the crew was able to come to the aid of one of the most vulnerable parts of Libya, the besieged city of Misrata. It's just after midnight, and moments ago, pilots identified what they believe to be a surface-to-air missile site near Misrata. Controllers here guided four F-16 fighter jets to the region, where pilots were then given the go-ahead to drop their bombs. Each successful strike against Gaddafi's forces is a boost for the rebels fighting them. But even with NATO's help, progress has been frustratingly slow. We're uh, keeping the pressure on Gaddafi and the regime, uh, just like we have from the start, and we're, we're going to continue that until the, we get the job done. For all the might of the combined forces operating over Libya, the job isn't done yet, and slowly but surely, NATO's resources are being drained by a weak but stubborn enemy. Charlie Daggett of CBS News off the coast of Libya.